police were explaining their problem uh, as far as uh, the law is concerned. Our party is still banned, and so we can't hold meetings. You still don't hold any meetings today? No, we won't hold any meetings. Did you give any reason for that? Well, the, the reason is the law, that if we are seen to be holding public meetings, people are bound to say, that party is banned, why are those people meeting? So it's just a problem of the law, they have, they have said. But is this a violation of the spirit, at least, of the well, peace agreement? Yes, the spirit is one thing, but they say the law is another, and they, they are merely implementing the law. What do you plan to do now, Mr. Singh? Well, we plan, there is nothing we can do, really, until the ban on our party is lifted. There is nothing we can do. When do you don't... expect that to be? Well, uh, we expect that when the governor takes over, and uh, since he has uh, legislative and executive powers, he will do exactly that. Mr. Masipo, did you get the impression that this was a decision taken solely by the police, or that there was any political inspiration to it? No, I, the impression is that it is a political decision, and the police are carrying out that political decision. You're not playing to defy the law? Uh, it doesn't help, really, for the time being. We hope it won't be uh, long before we can operate freely. That is what we are at Lancaster for, to try and get freedom back to the people, so that the people can meet freely. Is this ban going to set back your plans for the campaign? Oh yes, I'm terribly disappointed, because I thought I was going to set up a machinery, just in case the ban is lifted, then we can operate, but now it looks as if I shall have to sit back and do nothing. This is the problem, and our people are anxious to hear what is happening at Lancaster. Now I have no way of telling them. Have you got any plans to defy this ban? No, not at the moment. We have no plans. We don't wish to uh, find ourselves in confrontation with anybody. That's not the idea. Is I mean, the spirit now we want to create is one where people can work happily together and create a reconciliation. This is what this country needs. So we will not do anything that uh, is in direct contradiction to that spirit. Were you hoping that as, as a result of the success of the talks in London, they may have lifted this ban in advance? Yes, this is what I was hoping. I thought they would close their eyes to some of these things, you know, because after all, really, uh, the main uh, function of the police is to maintain law and order, and we didn't mean to uh, create any problems. We were going to hold a very peaceful meeting, very peaceful indeed. Do you think then that this current situation is fair in relation to your opportunities to electioneer and the UANC's opportunities? Oh, no, it is very unfair. It's like uh, getting into a race with your feet tied and you are expected to run where uh, other people are already 100 yards away and you are told follow and see if you can catch them or get, getting into a boxing ring with your hands tied and you are told to fight. So this is the problem. Thank you.